What is going on guys? I am Blazerboard and welcome to another Call of Duty Warzone video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Battle Pass and gone are the days when the Battle Pass was just simple and all you had to do was earn XP and progress throughout the Battle Pass. Today we get a more <laughs> intrinsic looking Battle Pass and we actually have to make a dedicated video for the Battle Pass due to the fact that a lot of things are changing within the battle pass so i wanted to break down everything that you need to know in regards to the battle pass there's going to be a short and quick video so a like would be greatly appreciated and let's dive in and talk about the battle pass so a couple of questions that i've been seeing popping up about the battle pass why does it look like this I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea, but uh, uh, there's a couple things you're going to want to know. All right, so let's go ahead and get started explaining this battle pass. So a couple things you're going to want to know. You're always going to get started in this category right here down on the A1, uh, A0 category right here and within the A1. So there's going to be your path to beginning the battle pass. Now, one thing that you want to note and I want to single out, guys, is you're going to notice that each of these sectors has a total of four different bubbles. So you notice right here, each little sector has four little bubbles. This one has four little bubbles and these four little bubbles are represented on what you actually need to do in order to unlock the image on the picture. So, for example, this one right here, in order for you to get this gun, you got to complete these four different assignments. And we kind of get an, a better overview of what exactly that means and, uh, you know, what's going on here by this big image that is showing up right here. So, as you notice right here, we have this one right here, which is going to be giving you some uh, SCPs. You got another CP right here another CP here, you get another weapon skin. And then once you complete all these four, you are then given access to the main objective or the main prize, which is the Olympus King. That is how each individual sector will work. So for example, if you want to get this girl right here, you're going to need uh, to complete a total of four different objectives. So this one, this one, this one. And of course, each one will give you different rewards. This is just a quick example of how it works. One thing that you definitely want to know is you actually want to plan the route you take in order to unlock this battle pass. And I'm going to explain why. So, for example, let's a lot of people think that you're able to start here. And if you want to go all the way over here, you could skip it all the way over here. You can't, guys. I know the uh, the trailer and a few of the blog posts kind of made it seem that way. But unfortunately, it does not work that way. Okay, so in order for you guys to kind of skip or go through or work your way along the battle pass, the actual squares or the actual, I don't even know what to call these, but the actual map sections or sectors need to be intertwined so like say you guys are going to be primarily going for weapons here uh if you go up this route you're going to be only able to unlock your weapon after you complete a total of one two and then you know three to get the weapon so if you want to get this other weapon it's a shorter route to get this one because you only need to do this one and this one now from here you can either decide to keep going along this path but if you go along this pathway you won't be able you won't be able to go up here unless you start working your way up so in my opinion guys like if you're going for weapons and all you want to do is just get all the weapons in the battle pass my suggestion and the best route to take would probably be to go like this okay so work your way all the way around here until you go here and then transition your way up all the way across like that so that way you can just get all the weapons first and then work on getting the car working on getting the character working on getting on the other character another car the helicopter another character right here some cp and more cp so that's uh, the easier route if you want to go ahead and just get the weapons now you have to go that path because remember they have to be interlocked so depending on which weapon you want to unlock first it's going to determine which one you want to do now one thing i want to let you guys know if you guys are on the playstation 4 and you get the vault edition you're going to start off with a total of 50 tokens now tokens are really important and you're going to want to make sure you pay attention because currently the way it was before is before you would just earn XP and through XP you would be able to unlock the sector. So for example right here you see there's a total of 52 tokens. PlayStation owners with the Vault Edition will be able to get 50 right off the bat. That means they will be able to spend a token on each individual sector. So for example let's say you want to get this weapon. That's going to be a total of 5 tokens. Okay because you have 1 here, 2, 3 four and five to unlock the main one okay so it's very important that you keep in mind so to unlock each individual section or subsection it's going to net you a total of five different tokens so that's five right here and then if that's another five right here all right let me see if i could actually get a better uh better thing to draw here so five right here okay five right here 
So that's how you guys are going to go. Five, 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 five. So the way you earn tokens, which is probably your next question, is how do I actually get more tokens? We're probably going to have a video guys showing you guys exactly the fastest way to get tokens. But basically, it's just going to be a matter of playing the game. Now, this is just theory because we don't have access to the game currently right now. I believe the fastest way to get tokens, and you guys can come back and comment on this video after you, you know, you play the game. I believe the fastest way to get tokens is going to be DMZ, and the reason is because they want you to play DMZ. So I think that's what's going to be in play, but I could be wrong. You know, I could just be wars on the fastest way to actually get it. So we're going to have to wait and see and find out what the fastest way to get tokens. Of course, we'll have a video out, but I did want to make this video to answer every question you might have about this brand new battle pass. If you have any additional question that I probably didn't explain or you feel like you need an answer to that wasn't mentioned here, I will be more than happy to answer that question in the comment section down below. I hope you guys are enjoying our content, expecting a lot of more Warzone and DMC coverage here on the channel. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next video.